and good afternoon. Today we will be finding a polynomial P of X of degree three, giving a root of X equals three as a multiplicity of two and the root of x equals negative four with the multiplicity of one. Also, the y-intercept is y equals negative 7.2. So with that being said, we have two zeros, but one of those zeros has a multiplicity of two. What does that mean? That means the exponent on that zero is degree two. For the zero of negative four, the exponent of that zero is multiplicity one or degree one. So we write it as a function of p of x equals x minus three, which is the zero expressed as a factor with the multiplicity of two exponent two times x plus four, which is the zero in the factor form with a multiplicity of one, degree one. But when the degree is one, you don't have to write it. You can if you want to. Next thing, we expand x minus three squared into x squared minus three x minus three x plus nine. Then we add like terms to get here, carrying down the x plus four. Then we multiply the x plus four into the polynomial x squared minus six x plus nine. So we do x times x squared, x times negative six x, and x times nine, which is x cubed minus six x squared plus nine x. Then we do four times each term, four x squared minus 24 x plus 36. Then we bring down x cubed, because that's the only term. We add like terms, negative six x plus four x squared negative six x squared plus four x squared is minus two x squared plus nine x minus 24 x is negative 15 x and bring down the plus 36. Now we have the function P of x we were looking for. I hope this helped. My name is Tim, thank you. Thank you.